With his job on the line, an ordinary daydreamer is forced to leave his ho-hum existence behind in order to embark on a global adventure in the secret life of Walter Mitty. Hi there, I'm Ben Stiller. Welcome to Made in Hollywood. Here's a scene from The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. We have ahead of us the privilege of publishing the very last issue of Life magazine. Jumping up and down the floor. And for the final issue, we just received a negative 25 from Sean O'Connell for the cover. I want to talk about your connection to Walter Mitty. Did you understand the whole seize the moment kind of aspect of his life? Because that's he's a daydreamer who really has to seize the moment. To me, this story resonated because it was about a guy who was really having to, at this point in his life, you know, make a decision to kind of step into his life and, and, and move forward. And that impetus to do that comes out of his need to take a chance so he could actually live his life. Hey. Hey. How was your weekend? I had an awesome weekend. Who do you think this Cheryl is? Like, how do you describe her? I think she's similar to Walter in that she probably isn't living to her fullest potential and she's recently had this breakup and trying to find her life. She's got this son and a new job and we've all been at that place where we're starting over and I think that's where she is when Walter meets her. The ice, Jace, she moves like a woman. I'd like to climb your hair. I feel like Walter is the kind of guy where, you know, he kind of lives in his head most of the time. So in reality, there's not a lot going on outside with him. And, you know, he's very, very nervous around this girl. And he wants it to go well with her. Walter, right? Yeah. Now, what has been like as a director? Because I'm uh, horrible. Just kidding. Nice. <laughs> well done. Well, that's going to go everywhere. It's a strange thing because there's nobody to really stop you if you're doing badly. You know, you're doing it and everybody's sort of looking at you and you're looking at the guy behind the camera and the dolly grip and everybody's sort of like going, okay. And you just kind of keep on going until you think you got it. Background and action. It was like he was two different people. He would decide to do it different ways and cut and, you know, next take and, okay, this time I'm going to do it a different way. And he would be in the scene and be acting and then do it a totally different way and it was unbelievable. What's the matter? I lost a picture. I like mysteries. You should go. Crack the case. Now, I think on the surface when I hear Walter Mitty, I don't think of an action star. Mm -hmm. But you really had to get physical in this movie. Yeah. What was that like for you? Well, it was fun. I mean, it, it was like we had a bunch of different movies within the movie when we were filming it. and so. We used to film on the weekends. We would film the Walter and Ted fight going through New York on the cement snowboards, and that was exciting. And then we'd be shooting in the North Sea to shoot the shark and the, you know, the helicopter sequence. Where do we land? Vito, go now! Go! Then we'd be shooting on a glacier for the, you know, for the mountain climbing stuff. So it was just every day on this movie, there was a different experience and a different movie within it. Life is about courage and going into the unknown. Do you relate to him at all? I mean, I feel like you had to seize a lot of moments yeah. to be here today. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I relate to also the feeling of trying to, you know, wanting to be something that you're not in, in reality, that people, you know, seeing you in a different way and having this image in your head of who you are and, you know, being suaver and funnier and more charming and more handsome and all, you know, all those things. Sitting down at your computer and writing that screenplay or doing a certain role or writing a song or whatever it is. I mean, it's, we all have that voice that says like, what are you doing? This is a waste of time. You can't do this. It's not gonna be as good as the last time and why even try? And we just have to fight through it and tell it to shut up <laughs> and do it anyway. <laughs> what this movie's about, you know, a guy just like kind of going off and actually going into the real world and having experience, which is hard. It's hard these days because you can, you know, you can, you know, Google Iceland and look at beautiful pictures on your, on your computer. Instead of going we, to Iceland. You know, wow, that's great, but it's not actually being there. Hi. Do you have any cars available? Yeah, we have a blue one and a red one. I'll take the red one. Made in Hollywood.